All right, hello everybody. Uh, I had an issue before with the screen. I think this should fix it, but please let me know if you're still having issues uh, seeing the screen. Um, today, the focus of the discussion is gonna be primarily on the command window. Last time we talked about the script and the user interface, but today we're just gonna be looking at the command window and possibly the workspace because we're gonna be storing some values in there, but we'll get to that. So. Um, First of all, the command window, if you recall, uh, you type in commands. So one plus two, you get the answer, which is three, and that value is stored in a variable called answer, or ants, which is short for answer, and the value is three. So you can refer back to that variable by just typing that variable and hitting enter. And again, it's three. So this ants value stores the last uh, command that you put in the command window. Okay, so uh, the, the variables you can use, it doesn't just have to be ants. So you don't have to run one thing and then get that value and run another thing. You can store values in different variables. For example, if you have, uh, say you have the value of one and you wanna store it in a variable. You say A equals one, you press enter, and you get A is equal to one. Now notice that the ants stayed as three. So in this case, you're storing the value you place in the command window into a variable. So there's no need for this ants value to change. Okay, so you can also do that with B. Okay, so say B equals two. You get B equals two and it shows up on the workspace over here on the left hand side. So you could do uh, some more complex things or some simple math um, with the values that you store in the variables just as you would with the values that are inside the variable as well. So if you did one plus two, you would get three. If you did a plus b, what do you think would happen? The code would go in and look at, all right, what's stored in a, the value of one, what's stored in b, the value of two, and then when it runs, you get three, which is the answer that you expect, right? So um, until now, you know, we've been typing a equals one and we get the value, you know, it says on the bottom of the command, it says a equals one. So uh, what if we don't want to show that, you know, sometimes we're, if we're typing stuff into the command window, which again, usually I use a script, but anyways, if you use the command window and you want to type multiple things like A equals one, B equals two, without having this awkward space in between, um, you have to find a way to kind of suppress that. So the way you do that is uh, when you type A equals one, you actually put a semicolon and that actually suppresses this output. So if I press enter, then you know it goes to the next command. Okay, the code is saying, all right, what's next? What do you want me to do? And you know it doesn't have to show this value. So uh, we don't have to display the value anymore. So um, when you're using the command window, say you wanna type multiple things like a plus, or okay, a plus one, and then you want to type in uh, B plus one. If you did this, and I'm going to try to run it, it says, you know, this is an unexpected MATLAB expression. You know, you have two different statements that you want to run, but you can't have them on the same line just like this. There's a way you can have it on the same line. So uh, there's two ways you can mul run multiple commands at the same time. So the first one is A plus one and then you hit shift enter to go to the next line and it's telling MATLAB, all right, don't run yet, I'm still trying to code something up. And then you type in B plus one. And then if you hit enter, it runs the first statement then it runs the second statement. So you get two and you get three. Okay, now the other option that you can use is uh, putting them on the same line but separating, separating them either with a comma or a semicolon. So a plus one, and I'm gonna use the comma first just to show something, b plus one. So if I hit enter, you see the results. So you get the two, and then you get the three, okay? And they're stored in ants, in the ants variable. Um, so notice how the values were output. So say you want to suppress the output, okay? Now, um, this is a clever trick you can use with the command window. It's not very clever, but it's useful. Uh, if you press up, you go up to the previous commands. You can scroll down. 
um, and then you get these values here. If you press escape, sorry, I had to press escape once to get out of the escape once to get out of that, and then if you hit escape again, it clears your command window, so or your command line, not command window. Um, so that's useful if you mess up with something and you need to go back and type something new. But anyways, um, you can scroll up and actually get whatever command you were trying to use. So here I had the A plus one comma B plus one. Um, so say I wanted to suppress the output. You can use a semicolon to suppress the output of each of the variables. Okay, so if I type that, the values, you know, these the, these two statements go through the program, but MATLAB doesn't have to output them to you because you told the MATLAB not to do it. Okay, so say you wanted to show one and uh, hide the other. Then you put the comma behind the one that you actually want to show and the semicolon behind the one you want to suppress. Okay, so that's, uh, that's pretty helpful um, if you're using the command line. Okay, now another way you can use these is uh, you, can or you can run the command line by highlighting the line and right clicking and hitting evaluate selection. So let me get rid of that uh, semicolon just so you guys can see that it runs both of them. Okay, so you get two and then you get three. Now, say you have this massive, you know, uh, yada 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 you got a bunch of stuff written down and you only want to run want you only want to run one of the uh, statements that are in the line you can actually highlight the one statement and right click it and hit evaluate uh, selection and notice how there were two commas but it only ran the a plus one and got the two value okay so um, I hope that was helpful uh, that pretty much oh sorry I wanted to show you guys two more things that are pretty helpful when you're using the command window or when you're using the editor and that is uh, the CLC command um, it's a pretty much a MATLAB built-in uh, thing that goes in and says okay clear everything that's on the command window without clearing the workspace variables so if I have a plus one and I have I'm oh, sorry a plus one a plus one a plus one and I want to get rid of all this. I just hit CLC. I write. I type in CLC, and it goes through and it clears uh, whatever is on the command window. Now, if I wanted to get rid of the workspace variables, I wanted to have a clean slate and start all over. I would type in clear, and the clear value gets rid of everything in the workspace. And there you go. It's gone. So uh, that wraps up our our discussion on the command window. I hope this uh, video tutorial was helpful. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Let us know what we can do to make your life easier, and we will try to do that. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you next video.